So my favourite word is a German word and it is Schadenfreude and it means happiness at the misfortune of others. Hi, so I speak Greek, some of you will know, and my favourite phrase in Greek is Ekipu ise imuna, ekipu ime tharse, which means um, where you are, I once was, and where I am, you will one day be. Um, I like it because uh, it shows how the generations span and what you learn as you go. Um, yes, thank you very much. So for me, it's going to be a sentence my, that my grandma used to tell me when I was young. It comes from a little dialect from the north of France. Vaquer la wasang. La wasang, the wasang means the mop, because during the First World War, when the Brits came to defend Europe, or the part of Europe that was fighting the Germans, they brought the mop and he was, they were saying it's for washing, and washing became wasang. Hi everyone, my favorite word in Gujarati is dunya, because it means the world. And I think it's a really uh, poignant message, especially as we are really caring about sustainability and looking after our beautiful planet at the moment. Today I wanted to share with you my favorite Chinese proverb, which sounds as and it means a thousand miles journey begins with a single step. I really like this proverb because it helps me whenever I'm feeling very nervous, uh, starting something new I've never done before. And it reminds me that we don't need to be overthinking and scared, we just need to take first step. Caminante no hay camino, se hace camino al andar. It's one of my favorite sentences. It was written by a Spanish poet, Antonio Machado, and it means there is not a set path in your life. You have to open the path as you walk. Jambo, Gina Langu ni Mr. Liversic, Habari Yogako, Mimi Mobwake, Asanti Sana. That's Swahili, but actually my favorite phrase is Hakuna Matata, which you might know from The Lion King. It means no worries, everything's going to be okay. Я хочу дать свой поэтический совет на моем родном русском языке. Литература – часть культуры на языке твоем родном. Ее призвание – ум и душу наполнить светом и добром. Читай же книжки, наслаждайся, анализируй, развивай. Добром и светом наполняйся. Язык родной свой улучшай.